Okay, welcome to lesson 21, different ways to solve problems. Um, guys, we're going to reason about and solve some multi-step problems. Um, so let's all turn to page 99. 99. And it looks like your warm-up today is which one doesn't belong. So make a few notes, pick the expression that doesn't belong, and make a few notes, and we'll share in a minute. So D because it doesn't have 90 in there, the number 90. Okay, maybe it's D. Abriella. B doesn't have any multiplication symbols. Okay, Vivian. I say C because it says 1 times 90, which is just 90, and then it says 4 times 90, so technically it can just be 4 times 90. So this one has parentheses, so maybe that's the one. Okay, okay. Brooks, what do you think? Um, I think it's A because it's really just one problem. Because this yeah. is just one problem where yeah. these are multiple yeah. steps. Okay, I think there's lots more answers. Um, here's what I want to know. What do all of the expressions have in common? Emma. Uh, they all equal Did you guys figure that out? Yes. yes. They all will equal 450. Can you write another expression that has the same value as these expressions, but it doesn't belong? Kara, what did you come up with? Oh, okay. Erin? I would do 3 times 5, actually 90 yep. times 90. 3 times 90, okay. And, and put it in parentheses. Then 3 times 90 again. And then do those. And then add them together. And do 3 times and do 90 times 5. Okay, so so far that's going to equal 540. But then you subtract. Okay. You're, you're, on, you're on a good, good track there. So then you would have to subtract, wouldn't you? Okay. What, what are some other things we could do that would show it doesn't belong? Cade. That would be huge. Yeah. <laughs> it's harder than it looks, isn't it? I guess it wouldn't belong because it doesn't get the right answer. But I think what they're trying to get you to do is find another way to make 450. I think that's really what they're trying to do. Hadley. You always multiply first, so you real, really don't need parentheses at all. But it's certainly easier to solve if you do. I know you're right because we got to have five 90s, right? Teacher your time out. This is Renee. Yeah, yeah, she's been, she's been nervous about it. Okay, she's coming. Or she's getting ready. Well, she'll be ready. Okay, thank you. Bye. Um, uh, I think your mom's just running late. But she said pack up, and they're going to call in a few minutes, and then you go down. So Riker will answer the phone because he's closest. Please. Thank you. Please. It's still going. Yeah, <gasps> 
Oh, okay. Well, everybody, Jerrica's leaving early. <laughs> That's all right. Okay. One more. Let's hear what was somebody telling us one? Yeah, it was Hadley. Hadley was. We got yours, Hadley, because it'll work. It's five groups. Um, was there one more? Oh, all right. All right, Brooks. Okay. So, um, three times 90. And parentheses. Okay, 270. Plus 3 times 90, in parentheses. Okay. Minus 90. Ah! That's what I was getting at. That is what you were getting at. Oops, what is that mark I made? Oops, that looked weird. Okay, that will totally work, won't it? And it doesn't belong because it's subtraction, huh? Yeah. But it will equal 450. Okay, there's an infinite number of possibilities. We could be here all day. Okay, um, what was I thinking? Oh, don't let me forget, we go to library at 3.15 today. Oh, yeah. I didn't bring any of my books. I didn't either. We'll just bring them tomorrow. But maybe you could still, we'll, we'll deal with that at 3.15. Okay. You could just hang out. They, they did not want you to go down until they called, so... When I said I'll just send her, they didn't like that idea, so I don't know. Okay, let's look at activity one. 45 students are going on a field trip to a museum. Um, tickets are $18 each. Teachers have $900 to cover tickets for the trip. Will this be enough to cover tickets for every student? Okay, so our first scenario... We are looking at a field trip to the museum. Okay, are our eyes up here? The second one, it says your teacher will show five strategies for answering the previous question. Then you're going to analyze it. So, we have to solve number one, then we're all going to come back and look at five strategies. Okay? So, I'm going to give you guys five to ten minutes. Get with your math partner, and then we're going to do not chase me down. When you're done, come sit on your floor spot. So raise your hand. We're not blurting out. Which strategy most closely resembles yours? We'll start with Kate. E. E. And E was the one with the boxes, right? Okay. Um, Vivian. Also E. Emma. A. A. And what strategy was A? It was like, um, it was like backwards and it was like, I don't know. Okay, okay. Madeline. Also A. A. Riker? C. C. And what was C's strategy? So they were kind of um, thinking about it logically like dividing. and dividing it. Okay, Hadley. B. And what was B's strategy? It was really they multiplied it and, really and broke it up. So you liked how they broke it apart. Okay, Kira. Mm -hmm. E. Yeah. yeah. E. Last one. E. Um, I think E is probably pretty popular. Um, it could have been because E is like this, the logic behind your standard algorithm, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, and it's kind of broken apart nicely. Um, which strategy that doesn't resemble your own makes the most sense to you? Brooks. A. A. Okay, Aaron. E because the one that Okay, Kira? B, Coral? B, Michael? E. E? Happy. E. Um, so, last but not least, let's look at question number one. Um, first of all, will this be enough to cover tickets for every student? Let's share our answers. Bella. How do you know? Um, 
Very good. So if yes, will there be any leftover money and how much? So $90. Now, some of you guys, not everybody solved it by multiplying. Did anybody divide? Okay, Riker. You mean two times forty-five to get the ninety dollars? Okay, so you could have solved it using division, couldn't you? And then you would have had to know, okay, if I have nine hundred dollars and I have forty-five kids, that would mean each kid would get twenty dollars. But a ticket costs eighteen, and twenty is two more. So then you'd have to multiply it to get your extra money. But um, what we, um, I just want to say something about their strategy. Yeah. It's almost exactly like A. Is it? Yeah, because um, they do um, 45 times 20 because they know it's uh, 900. And then they know that um, 18 is 2 less than 20. So they do 2 times 45. And then they do 900 oh. minus 90. Awesome. I think you're exactly correct. All right. So, um, okay. So that was interesting to see the different strategies, wasn't it? I heard some good conversations, and it's always good to look at other strategies and think about, well, how did they get their answer, right? Okay. Part two. Movie tickets are $9 each. The theater sold the same number of tickets two days in a row. The theater made $3,132 from ticket sales on the first day. So, is this part in here right a mathematical question? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. I think your book is a little different than mine. Oh, okay. We have to generate a list. Okay. Write a list of mathematical questions that could be asked about this situation. So, let's make a list of questions. Keston. How many people used the theater? Okay, Brooks. How many um, dollars are ticket? How many Do dollars? How much money is one ticket? What? Well, it says nine dollars each. But it gives you all three answers for questions. Which is what I get. Oh, I was just gonna say what's. Oh. If tickets are $9 each and the theater made $3,132, how many tickets were sold? Um, Would that work? Yeah. 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 Which is similar to how many people use the theater, isn't it? So how, how many tickets were sold in all? All right. Um, then your book says, <laughs> sorry, um, for number one, you're going to write down the question you want to answer. It could be one of these. But that's the launch, so maybe you have to go to the next slide. That's a good point. Hey, look at that. Use the given information. Oh, so for number one, you're just deciding on the question you're going to answer and your strategy. Number two, you're going to answer this question. And then number three, if you have time, you're going to answer that question. Then we're going to look at your responses. Um, but we are headed to the library in a little bit. So when you're done, come back to your floor spot. Go, Go over this super quick because we have library. So to solve this problem, 
You should have taken the total amount of money, $3,132, and divided it by nine. Each ticket is nine dollars. If I divide that, I will know how many total tickets were sold. So nine goes into three. How many times, everybody? Nine goes into 31. Three times. Three times nine is? 27. 31 minus 27. Four. Bring down the three. Check your work. Nine goes into 43. How many times? Four. Four. Four times nine is? Thirty-six. Okay, I'm subtracting. Thirteen minus six? Seven. Seven. Okay, bring down the two. Nine goes into 72. How many times? Eight. Eight times nine? Seventy-two. Subtract? Zero. Okay, they would have had to have sold 300... 48 tickets. If you need to make corrections, make them. Today, we have no cool down because we're headed to the library. We're only going to the library for 10 minutes. So if you have a book you need to return, grab it or renew. Otherwise, put, away, put your map on your desk and line up on the tile.